Hello, this is Wasploke, and welcome back to the Minecraft server. I'm down in the bottom of my um, project ravine. This isn't my mining ravine, that's uh, over that way somewhere. Um, yep, this is the project ravine. I'm just seeing where this goes to, seeing how deep it goes. And it's not that far. It's just uh, finishes there. It looked on the map like it might sort of snake through the hill and join up with that other one that we found last episode, but it doesn't. So uh, I'm going to have to spoil this slightly by <coughs> building myself a cobblestone tower to get out of here. Pillar, I should say, not a tower. Um, get up as high as possible so that there we go just here I think yep just wanted to uh, check out the ravine see what it looked like because as you can see I've now shaved a lot of the forest away so we can see it properly without all those horrible trees in the way I'm going to take these back quite a bit further as well, and away from the back here. I need to clear all these trees away, and then I think, yes, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to start my project, but I think it's probably going to be around here eventually. I'm not going to let on yet as to what my project is going to be, it's going to be a surprise. So, of what we've got on for today though, hello, guys, yeah, uh, while I was clearing out all the forest here, found these two wandering around in amongst the trees, so we've um, adopted them, <laughs> adopted a couple of dogs, who don't know the meaning of the word sit and stay. Now sit and stay. So yep, we've got uh, a task on now. As you can see, all the cows have been moved into a pen here. And I've started building the new pen. But I got slightly ahead of myself, so I'm going to have to tear this out and start again. So the task for today is building my new cow pen with a lava cooking machine at the bottom of it. And this is my own design. Um, kind of inspired a little bit by Zizuma's, um underground lava cooker under his open air pen. But I've completely reinvented machine and the pen as well as you can see it's a round pen. Uh, the reason why it's a round pen rather than a square pen is because we're in the desert and um, I don't know whether you, you might have uh, done geography at school or or know about these things anyway but if you have a look on Google Earth um, on some of the satellite pictures in desert areas you can see where <coughs> certain countries have you know, got enough money for this kind of thing. I mean certainly in the USA they do this and in Saudi Arabia they do this. They irrigate areas of the desert and in sort of perfect circles where presumably uh, they have some central irrigation point which then fans out along a radius and irrigates these circular patches in the desert and you can see these quite distinct circular fields so I'm kind of emulating that look I hope so that when we see this on the map from above we'll see these circular fields so this is going to be my first one anyway because I want meat to eat basically uh, I don't want to be eating bread and I certainly don't want to be eating melons talking of which 
chomp. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get myself a proper cow farm on, on, on the go with a lava cooker. And also, I'm got, going to need lots of leather for books for bookcases to make enchanting stations at various places. Um, so yeah, uh, the task for today is start digging, really. Um, I'm have to just shut off the water that I put down here. But yeah, it's uh, digging sand. I'm going to take this down about uh, eight layers, I think. So lots and lots of digging to do, so what I'll probably do is get on with that and then we'll join back up when I've got a suitable sized hole dug out of the desert just here. Okay, back in a while. Okay, welcome back. Here we are. I've finished the perimeter for the pen. I've put these half slabs which are going to break the water flow so it doesn't turn into an infinite spring. I've half slabbed the the um, surface of the pen and now I'm going to put the pistons in place. So there's these pistons will oops, nearly fell down there. Yeah, these pistons will have a half slab on which will when they're retracted as they are at the minute unpowered will make the half slabs flush with the rest of the surface. I seem to have four extra pistons. Oh yes, that's for the gate there eventually. So these half slabs here just to give it a bit more of a feature I suppose rather than just being sandstone everywhere. Those pistons will rise up to the same height as these ones here, and that will stop the water flow from cascading across the surface. And then when they drop down, the water will flow across the surface, flushing the cows into the chute here and down into the cooker. And yep, okay, let's just have a gander down here. So we need to just break through here. Now then, let's get these set up. So this is ready for the redstone. And there's three in the corner. Dab, dab. I'm a bit hoarse and I might be rather quiet. So, did we get that? Yeah. And, okay. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, dab. These two there. Yes, okay. 
Let's uh, get some light down here because I don't want it too dark for poor viewing. Stick a torch under there. Stick a torch under there. Dab, 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 dab. Fantastic. Then dab, 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 dab. These two. Oops. And where are we? Just there. Pokey, dokey, pig in a pokey. Aziz. Very good. That's um I've got enough space to work here. I'm gonna need to run a track around here. To Yep, yeah, I'm gonna need a bit more space, aren't I? Do I'll carry on with this and we'll get all the track laid out and then we'll come back when it's time to put the redstone down. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, now we're ready to put down the first redstone. Um, where did you come from? How did you get down here? Bloody dogs. Right, uh, okay, so this is easy enough. Redstone there. Just dab it down here. There we go. And around here. That into there, that out of there. Spot on there. And then just follow the pattern all the way around. Ah, but going the back from the front this way as well. So that there, that there, spot on there. This down here. There, 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 and there. Okay. That there. these down. That there, that there. They're in position, so just need some more dust. Okay. I didn't think it'd take that much. Very well. of the cows. I'm sorry if my voice is a bit quiet. So I've got a bit of a horse throat at the moment. Oh, I am a little horse. Nay. Let's do it. Okay. Which way was it? East here. There, 
there, there, there, there, there. That should be all of that. Now, just dog back around to the front. We're going to have a, a line coming up from here, which is going to be our main switch. So, just for testing. That sounded like a lot of pistons going. One, two, three. Aha. Missing. Why? Which one's that? Those two. Okay. Missed some dust somewhere. There we go. Very good. That should be it. I'm going to have to get a ladder. <laughs> I keep doing this all the time. It's most annoying. There we go. Everybody up. Yep. Very good. Okay. Now we can put our water down. Actually, no we can't. Not until I... Uh, we can all turn at route in and out. Just there, I think. Um, ah, completely missed there. Let's uh, put my horse back. Okay. off I can do everything else I need from the inside from in there but anyway it doesn't matter Might as well just have access for now just so we can uh, make any adjustments we need to make uh, let's stick a torch down here it's a bit dark pooch you stay there Okay, so now we just water up everywhere. Around the edges, that is. Not everywhere, everywhere. Oops. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll get on with this and then join you back when the next job's on. Okay, there we go. All the water's in place. Um, just a small thing to note about this. When you're placing the water, you go all along the six along this edge. But then, as you can see, there's these two other sort of in the middle. So you place a water source there, and then in just in these 
corners, not on the, on the outside ones, because otherwise you get the, the few patches of still water around here, and you want as much of it flowing down towards the middle as, as possible, so just in the corner, so the very middle, and then on this inside corner, on this inside corner, and then mirrored and repeated. So there's all the water sources in place. Uh, let's just flip the switch. There goes all the pistons. And there we go. All the pistons drop and now the water flows all the way to the centre. Well not all the way, there's one block space uh, left. And that's quite important because what will happen, all the cows will be flushed down here but there will always be a few that manage to save themselves on this ledge here and they'll be the ones that Evolution has selected to go on to breed to form the next generation of super stronger, better cows those that save themselves yeah, it's Minecraft Evolution. We're breeding better cows. Yeah, anyway. So there we go. Let's just uh, flip the switch and there we go. And there it is. So, yep, yeah, that's the water source done. The next job is to actually start building the lava cooker down here. So I think I just need to clear out a couple more layers down. Um, I've got to put um, the doors in, the trap doors, to close it off in between use so that the cows just don't drop down into the lava cooker. And the actual lava cooker down here itself. Um, We've got a way out of here. Yes, very good. Don't have to keep falling down that hole. Yep, okay, so I shall dig out a bit more of the floor here. And uh, we'll come back when we're ready to actually start building the oven. Okay, see you in a bit. And welcome back. It's the morning after the night before. I've been reviewing the footage that I shot last night and my voice is a bit quiet on it uh, I'm a bit hoarse at the moment um, and the cows are a bit loud so I think we shall just knock the sound down a bit ok and uh, I'll attempt to try and concentrate on keeping speaking clearly and with some volume. <laughs> um, right, what have I done? I've hollowed out everything in here and I've started to put in place the structure of the cooking machine. Um, I think I've got everything in place that needs to be. So it's just a question of putting in all the components and the red stonery getting everything done. So, we'll start off down here at the bottom. Um, well, let's, uh, let's, let's do this in a logical fashion. So the first thing that happens when the cows come down the chute is that they will fall onto these pressure plates. Uh, this button here is just in case the uh, lava dispensers get stuck in the dispensing mode so we can just press that to reset it um, none of my tests on this machine that I've done in creative um, that doesn't happen so I mean that's just there for just in case it's just a cautionary thing but uh, so yes we've got the pressure plates here the cows fall down and land on the pressure plates and the pressure plates will power this redstone here 
And this redstone will power this piston. And will turn oops turn off this torch here. Um this piston will extend to here and now let me just remember which way around this go. I need a couple of repeaters. I need a repeater here pointing that way and one pointing that way. And these need to be on maximum delay. So, and then redstone, redstone, redstone. And there we go. So, what this is is a toggleable clock. Um, the piston will extend here and will complete the circuit of the clock, which will then fire a pulse. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, fire a pulse into this line here and make sure I've got everything right there, that cuts off the signal from crossing over there so then what happens is the pulse gets fired up here up here, across here and then into that repeater there and into that repeater there. So these two, so the pulse come, travels up here, splits left and right, and then goes into these dust sections here, which will, the dispensers will be just here, so these two um, little sections of dust will fire the dispensers. Uh, something's missing, I've just remembered, and it is these torches here, which are going to prime the dispensers. Um, dum -dum -dum. So, torch, 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 torch. So they'll prime the dispensers and so now we place our dispensers now they should be primed I didn't hear the click let's just uh, do that again with the volume turned up so I can here that they click when I place them. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's crank the sound right up to 50. Excuse the noise a moment. No, still didn't hear them click. That's just a. Uh ah, there we go. There's the click. There we go. Right. Dispensers are in position and primed. Okay, let's just turn the sound back down. Right, um, next job. Uh, dispensers are wired up. Okay, so now we need to. the gate in place. Let's just um, take this out of the way a moment while I excuse all the clicking noise. Um, piston, pistons. And okay, all right, shut up. <laughs> Alright, that's the gates in place, and now um, oh, we need to go round the other way. Um, yeah. um, how do I get out? Ah, here we are, right, okay. Uh, 
so maybe it's a bit awkward for myself. There we go. So repeater, repeater. Coal? No. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Oops. Right. So, redstone, redstone, all the way around here. Seems to have run out of dust. Why is that? And that shouldn't be crossing over. Why is that crossing over? Okay, I'll put that there just to cut that off. Um, yeah, I've run out of dust. I'm going to have to jog back to my mine. I didn't bring enough redstone dust with me. Derp. Um, let's just uh, plonk the repeaters down here. Dip, 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 dip. Okay. I've really not got enough dust. I don't know whether I can nick these, can I? No, they're not going to fire the dispensers now, are they? Um, not that. Let's just uh, put that back. I'm pretty sure I need that there. Uh, okay. I need my lever, which is there. And that needs to be... Where does that need to be? Just here. Okay. Now I need to eat some bread. I thought I had enough redstone dust. I counted it all off my prototype. Must have done something slightly different. I wonder if it's this. No, that's all right. Okay, I do apologise. Must have miscounted the dust somewhere. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dust needed. Um, what I also need to do probably. Um, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. So I'm a prototype. I've got these travelling up. Uh, ah, that's what I've done differently. Yes. I know. So I can walk around here. That's all right. Um, Let's just plop these down there. Yep, so I need four more dust. Okay, you'll have to bear with me a moment. Um, yep, I'll just nip over and get some more dust and I'll be back. Okay, back with the dust. Right, let's uh, get these last bits finished off. Oh, uh, where am I going? Wrong way. So yeah, uh, I've just made a couple of alterations to the design here on the fly, which is why I didn't quite have enough dust as I should have had. So dust, 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 and then one, two. Do I need these? Yes, I do. I need at least one of them. So one, two. Just to make these, oops, just make those the same. Uh, make sure the gates open at the same time. Right. Once the gates are closed, and the water should be being held back. No. What's wrong there?
pistons up. Hmm. I've done this the wrong way around, have I? Something's the wrong way around. So the gates should be closed at the moment. Should they? Let me just check this. No, the gate should be open right now. Yes, the gates are open. The gates are open, water's pouring. Very good. That's how it should be. Why didn't I just fall down there? Stupid. Derp. Okay. So. Gates are open, water's pouring. Flip the lever. Gates closed. Where? What have I done wrong? Ah, of course. I haven't connected this up. Alright. <laughs> Very good. Mm, that's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Didn't look like that on the creative. Let's just pop this round here. Don't like all that. That looks untidy. Uh, where's my switch? Switch is underneath there, isn't it? Yes. No. Yeah. So where shall I put the switch? Switch underneath that one. Okay. Yep, that looks nicer. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Doesn't really matter, does it? But it does to me. I know it's there. I know it looks awful. And you do now as well. Well, no, it doesn't. Tidy it up. So, right, flip the switch. Gates close. Water's off. So, yep, the machine is now switched off. The cooker is turned off. So the cows can frolic about in here merrily. And then we come down here. This isn't going to be the way in, by the way. I'm going to be cutting a tunnel down here that's going to go into the cave system uh, underneath the well. It's going to join up somewhere down there. Uh, flip the switch. Should have that inverted actually just to make it, makes, make, it make a bit more sense. <laughs> yep, okay, right. Gate opens. Let's just check the waters flowing. Yep. Okay. Um, excuse me. Let's just invert this while I, I've got it in my mind to do it. So... Dum, 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 dum. think so. Uh, crunch. Flip the switch. Gates open. And water will be flowing because the pistons haven't got any power. And flip the switch. Gates closed. Pistons powered. Water will be off. 
Let's just check that. Okay. Splendid. Right. I shall just do a few tidying up jobs and cut my path through there. Oops. Getting a bit of uh, glitchy visual lag as well, so I'll we'll probably have to stop recording in a moment and find out what's causing that. But yeah, um, I shall tidy up, uh, cut my tunnel down into my cave system, and install the lava, transfer the cows across, and then we'll come back when it's all ready to show you the finished product. Okay, I shall join you shortly. And we're back. It's been a couple of Minecraft days now and all of the cows have grown up. So let's go and test the machine. Pop down here. Okay. I've um, done a little bit of work on this tunnel just to tidy it up a bit and make it look a bit nicer. There we go. Sort of zigzaggy transition between the smooth stone and the sandstone. As you can hear from the din, there's plenty of cows above. So, flip the lever, gates are open, water floods, and here comes the cows. So we'll just keep going until I either flip the lever or all the cows eventually wash out. Although, like I say, because I, le I left a border of one block, the um, you know there should be some that manage to save themselves by just clinging onto the border. So we'll just have a few more come through. As soon as we get a break, we'll turn it off. Okay, that'll do. So there we go, lots of cooked beef and leather. There we are, so 7 leather, 21 beef. So I've now got a nice supply of cooked meat. There we go, splendid. Let's uh, pop back up top, I might make a little ladder access just here, just to save myself having to run all the way down here and this is a little bit of a palaver but I am planning on having quite a bit more underground there a bit more going on so it might be that I'm going to be oops come on get out I'm going to be hanging around here or hanging around underground a fair bit so it might not be that inconvenient. And one, two, three, four, five survivors. Very good. Five survivors. I don't know why I've got a hole there. Oh yeah, I do. It's because I emptied out. I uh, knocked a bit of ceiling away from the tunnel. Okay. So, yep, yeah, there we go. That is my cow breeding pen and um, cow cooking machine. I think I dubbed it the Mad Cow Machine on the test server. So there you go, the Mad Cow Machine by me. Hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you come back for more next time when we'll be probably starting our reed farm <coughs> sorry starting a reed farm um, uh, yeah just while I'm thinking about it the only thing that I wish I'd have done differently now thinking about it is I wish I'd have moved it a bit further back into the desert and not had it quite so close but there you go I didn't think about that at the time it's all the bloody noise they make 
Although, they're a bit further away from probably these two. I'll just ship them out into the desert a bit more. Get them away from the houses. Because I just don't want to listen to all that racket all the time. Anyway, yes. Uh, let's uh, finish up on the roof. Okay, there we go. Where's the sun? Ooh, near the evening. I think I'm going to have to finish up before the sun sets, so. though. There we go. Yes, hope you've enjoyed it. One mad cow machine. Come back, see me do more. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.